All right, when, when storing images or files or anything to your application, it requires some sort of file store. Um, as that data is not um, stored, typically there's some caveats to that, but directly in the table itself, there's a separate store for image and file capture. And by default, it's gonna be Google Drive. If you're using Google, if you have Microsoft customers, it'll be Office, uh, you know, the OneDrive, Microsoft OneDrive, where those files get stored. And what gets stored in the table itself is just the path of where AppSheet can find that image when it loads the app. Um, so when using Google Drive specifically, and this is the one tricky part that I only recently just learned about as well, is the files will be stored in a folder that's either called, you know, that ends in underscore image or underscore files. Um, in the folder where your table is located. So if it's in the root folder, it's going to put it in the root folder. If you have it in the default app folder, it'll it'll store it there as well. Uh, and that's one that's one um, little quirk that I believe the engineers are fixing on. But the default app folder here in the app only applies when you're using a file store other than Google Drive. And how do you add file stores then, uh, other than Google Drive is under my account and um, integrations and clicking on stores and you can add a new cloud storage, right? So you have, you have some options here, AWS S3, Google Cloud Storage and storing things against uh, putting, putting in a blob storage on a database. Uh, so those are your options. And once you add those to your account, you could then under table, um, for each table, you're going to need to choose where that gets stored. So every every table that you add to your app has, you know, the back end table itself and then the file store where AppSheet will store and retrieve those images. If you need custom paths or dynamic paths for your images um, in the file itself, or the um, or the image directory itself. If you click on uh, for for the column, if you click on the edit attribute, you'll notice that there's an image file store path field here, and this is where you can construct a path using column column field values, and you can make uh, make those uh, storage areas dynamic in, in nature based off your app.